Over the next few months, Luke slowly learned about the world around him, and successfully aided Sarah Jane, Maria and Clyde Langer in combating alien threats on several occasions. He demonstrated exceptional intelligence and an eidetic memory along with almost complete naivete about human nature which, while being a great asset to the team, was also a problem, as when he inadvertently aided the Slatheen in their plan to harvest the energy of the sun. TV, Revenge of the Slatheen. He was given an ancient talisman by B. Nelson Stanley and told to keep it a secret, but was exposed by Mr. Smith. Knowing the importance of secrets, he expressed guilt at not keeping his, but was ultimately pleased with the outcome as the talisman was actually a key to a portal that allowed evil gorgons to enter the world. His exposure also led to their defeat. TV, Eye of the Gorgon. When he was captured by the Uvodni general Uvlavad Kudlik along with Clyde, and several other teenagers from around England, he successfully escaped from imprisonment on the alien ship and ultimately exposed a plot by the mistress, thereby freeing the captives. He earned his first kiss from one of the captives, Jen, which bewildered and confused him. TV, Warriors of Kudlik. Luke was worried about Maria when she got injected with gold and was controlled by the keratin. He helped to defeat the keratin and Maria got free of the keratin's control. Audio, The Glittering Storm. The alien ravage possessed Luke's mind. He believed that Luke's young and impressionable mind would make it easier for him to completely take over and destroy Luke's personality and take over his body. Luke fought a mental battle against Ravage and defeated him. Audio. The Thirteenth Stone. Mysterious TV reports were later seen by the team implying that Luke was actually Ashley, the child of Jay and Heidi Stafford, who has been missing for three months. While Mr. Smith initially confirmed that he was a genetic match with the missing boy and he was returned to his supposed parents, Mr. Smith was actually working with the parents, who were Slatheen, to capture Luke. They tried to use the MITRE headset from the Ferros Institute to amplify his latent telekinetic powers to make the moon crash into the Earth. TV, The Lost Boy, See Powers and Abilities. Luke was later introduced to Jack Harkness, Martha Jones, Donna Noble, Harriet Jones, Gwen Cooper and Yanto Jones via subwave network when the Daleks transported Earth into the Medusa Cascade. He aided their efforts to contact the 10th Doctor with the idea of using Mr. Smith to link telephone exchanges and boost the signal. He then, met, the Doctor via the Subwave Communications Network. TV, The Stolen Earth, after the Daleks had been defeated and their planet-moving magnetron was destroyed, the Doctor contacted Luke, Mr. Smith and K-9 Mark IV to use the Cardiff Rift as a tow rope for the TARDIS so it could return Earth to its original location in space. TV, Journey's End. Luke saw off the Santaran Ka, the last survivor of the Santaran invasion of Earth, who wanted to destroy the Earth by dropping satellites. Maria's father had a job offer to move to Washington, D.C. and she decided to let him take it. Six weeks later, she moved out. TV, the last Santaran. For Luke it was really hard to see Maria leaving Ealing. Maria was special to Luke and understood him in a way that not many people would understand. She was also the first person he ever spoke to. He missed her badly. Sarah Jane and Clyde did their best to comfort him. Pros, Day of the Clown. Maria and Luke still kept in touch using email, TV, the Day of the Clown, and via alien technology. TV, the Mark of the Berserker. They also phoned each other at least once a week. Pros, the Nightmare Man.